Jared here with Onyx. I want to tell you about state specific layers within the Onyx Hunt app. So when you open Onyx Hunt, at the very bottom left, you have map layers. As you can see right now, I have nothing under my layers. If you go to layer library, as a premium member, you have full access to your single state's full suite of data. Whereas if you're an elite member, you have access to all 50 states full suite of state layers. So um, as you can see, as I scroll through layer library, each individual state has a different number of layers. And that is just simply because we are able to gather different amounts of data from each individual state based on what they have available for us to input into the Hunt app. So for instance, I'm just gonna add in Idaho. I'm gonna add all of Idaho's layers and I'll add in all of Alabama's layers. And so what you then can do is switch over from layer library over to my layers and every single individual state is going to have that state's private lands and that state's government lands. Beyond that, it's going to differ a little bit um, with lands such as possible access. So possible access is often timber company land or land that's owned by a large conglomerate that may be open to hunting, but it may not be. It typically takes a little bit more effort and research on your end to look up that particular piece of land and determine whether it's legal to hunt or not. There's also lands like, for instance, here in Alabama, they call it forever wild tracks, whereas Idaho calls it access yes. There's, these are layers that are private lands that are opened up for public access. Many states have these layers, um, but again, it just takes a little bit of exploring within Onyx Hunt to see if your specific state has that state layer. So make sure that you explore Onyx Hunt's full suite of individual state layers to make sure you're getting the most out of the Hunt app this season.